The French Revolution is arguably one of the most well-known periods in French history. Nearly everyone is familiar with the bourgeoisie, the reign of terror, and Napoleon Bonaparte. What some people don't know, however, is what went on behind the scenes of the revolution. Over time, scholars came to the consensus that the Enlightenment most definitely played a pivotal role in the revolution. The ideas and works of well-known Enlightenment identities like Voltaire, Rousseau, Locke, and Montesquieu were highly influential during the era of the French Revolution. The French Revolution began with the bourgeoisie, the upper half of the Third Estate in France. Ideals that developed during the period of Enlightenment led the bourgeoisie to become upset over the way they were being treated under the government. They decided to do something about it. Correspondent with the ideas of Enlightenment philosopher John Locke, the bourgeoisie wanted essentially life, liberty, and property. Enlightened ideals continued to influence the events of the revolution. The bourgeoisie created the National Assembly, which published the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen. The declaration included ideas of natural rights, John Locke, social contract, Rousseau, freedom of speech and press, and separation of church and state, Voltaire, and separation of powers, Montesquieu. In 1791, a new constitution was published. Creating a limited monarchy, the ideas in the document reflected some of the ideas of Montesquieu. His ideas had acted as a blueprint for yet another government formed out of revolution. At that point, the situation for the people of France was beginning to look more bright as enlightened ideas were purely used to create a better society. The second phase of the French Revolution is most well known in relation to the Reign of Terror. Maximilien Robespierre was the head of the Committee of Public Safety. Robespierre was a firm believer in Rousseau's idea of the social contract. He used Rousseau's words to justify actions that took place during the Reign of Terror. People who didn't support or oppose the government were executed. Robespierre became more and more tyrannical and cruel as he warped Rousseau's ideas. He was put to death in July of 1794 by the National Convention. Following his death, the Directory was formed. The Directory established the new government. At first glance, the government resembled the three-part system described by Montesquieu. In reality, however, the government was set up in a way that still left most of the power to one man. The enlightened ideas were purposefully twisted and changed to validate actions that were harmful to the society as a whole. Overall, the enlightenment seemed to have a negative effect on French society at that point. Napoleon Bonaparte, a military leader, proved to be a force to be reckoned with for France. He took over and crowned himself emperor. As he ruled, he implemented some things that vaguely resembled the ideas of John Locke and Voltaire. Enlightened ideas did have an extensive amount of effects during the final part of the revolution. Napoleon is well known for his creation of the Civil Code, which granted equality, several personal and religious rights, and abolition of serfdom and feudalism, a few of the ideas of Locke and Voltaire. However, the specifications of property under the code were restricting of Locke's basic idea of property. The Civil Code seemed to be the most lasting and largest implementation of Enlightenment ideals during the era of Napoleon. As leaders do, Napoleon became greedy and ended up being exiled to an island in 1815. This was the official end of the French Revolution.